About a hundred thousand people have asked me, how do I render while inking? It's pretty simple and easy when you learn it. When you have your sketching done, there is a option in the layers called expression color. Use that to turn your inking layer monochrome. That's because you don't want any gray stuff in it. The ideal line art should only have blacks, especially if you're doing it comic book style. Besides, it looks cooler that way when it's finished. If you want to mess with gray values, uh, I suggest going to going straight to grayscale painting. But this is line art. First off, choose your brushes. You can pretty much see it with any brush in Mango Studio. If you want to. Like for example, uh, using the rough pencil. Pick one for uh, those thick contour lines. You want to ink out the outlines first. Then you get a second brush for rendering. I usually use size 1 for the rendering brush. And, well, contour lines are different every time. But I usually use size 3. Alright? Use your shoulder and elbow as much as you can for those nice uh, big smooth lines. Rendering you can do it all by wrist, but you can also use your elbow with that. If you're like me, who started drawing by only using your wrist, you have a danger of uh, developing carpal tunnels. So use those elbows and shoulders as well. Carpal tunnels is a pain in the dick. Remember to flex your elbows and wrists after every uh, drawing session. I mean session. Drawing is fun, but don't fuck yourself up, okay? I inked most of this piece in one hour. Just one hour. I'm getting fast because I know what I'm doing right now. And that's very nice. In Manga Studio you can also use a vector setting for the inking layer. It produces more crisp and smoother lines than your usual raster layer. Raster layers uh, have the problem of pixelization, but that shouldn't be a problem if you use a high enough DPI. I'm talking 350 DPI at minimum. I usually ink with 600 DPI like this one. You can easily develop this kind of style just by uh, practicing lines. You practice uh, drawing lines next to each other. Don't connect them, just draw them as close as you can. I credit Robert Marzullo for, for this um, practicing technique. He's a great chap. Also, remember to practice using pencil and paper. Those are great. Get a sketchbook, get a 2B pencil, get a small knife, and then sharpen it and go to town. You can use a mechanical pencil as well, if you are one of those kinds. Not much to say here any longer. That's about it. Just practice a lot, do pieces a lot, and uh, experiment and time yourself. 
see how long it takes to get things done. You'll notice your... You will get faster. And your life will get better. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.